just about there. Mm. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it, Miss. Now push the needle right up. It was really the brainchild of a Reverend Paul Mooney who came to Ross in 1998 and he was fascinated by the beautiful Church of St Mary's which he was rector of and he wanted to come down the town of New Ross and find this marvellous Norman history and so obviously there was the Norman history of New Ross was not told in the town at the time. So he had been inspired by the Bayeux Tapestry, which of course is the Norman history of England after the Battle of Hastings in 1066. And he thought, wouldn't it be a fascinating idea to have the Norman history of Ireland told in thread and hanging in his beautiful church, which was the original idea. But of course the tapestry took on a life of its own. Over 150 stitchers have been involved in the stitching of the tapestries over the past 17 years. And it's still ongoing here. We have our stitchers upstairs doing the tapestries twice a week. The paintings were all done by an artist called Anne Griffin Bernstorff, who would have done a lot of historical research. And she also did research into the way of life and costumes, etc., from the Norman era to get all her facts right in these and her daughter, Alexis, is our stitching coordinator. So it was very much a mother-daughter uh, affair from the very beginning. Fantastic. Everything starts off with this, the painting. The painting is put down flat on this table here, and then we take a sheet of clear acetate. The linen is taped over the acetate. When you turn on, when you turn on the light, so then you just get an ordinary pencil and draw around every single one of those lines. So you now have a six foot by four foot sheet of linen with the pencil drawings on it. And you have your painting there beside you and in front of you to copy the colors. This is Unity Threads of Friendship Between Europe and Ireland. And these are by artist Railton Murphy. Um, a different artist from the Norman series downstairs. And these show the two ladies, which are symbols, Era and Europa. On the ground and in the sky, as all the European languages spell out unity. This is Coming Home, Threads of Friendship Between the USA and Ireland, the story of the Irish diaspora. And this links us to the emigrant trail here, Dumbrody ship, the Kendi Arboretum, the Kendi Homestead, the Hook Lighthouse, which would be the last thing that the emigrants would have seen before they left the shores of Ireland. Yeah, right up for it. Yeah, that's fine. Right there. Yeah. About there. We do um, a lot of marketing as much as possible on the website, Twitter, Facebook, handing around brochures and going around advertising in different places. We have a board of management and uh, four staff who run the place and one part-time person. We get some funding from Pubble, obviously for the, the staff. We get uh, funding from Wexford County Council, WLD, um, the Heritage Council and of course Fault Ireland.